This is gonna be a real behind the scenes with the like uncut. Let me drink some water because this video about to be real juicy. Hey, cool! Welcome to the vibes to see what's going on, what's popping. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back. And if it ain't the vibes like the vibe, y'all don't even know why. Period. And so today, I don't know. If Y'all right about the title, but I gonna be just spilling some tea, you know, making the girls shake, giving them some tea. So I was like, you know what, let me just be a little spicy and, you know, add a story time. Before we get into the video, before y'all get the real tea, just so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, cut your post notification bell so you know every time I post a video, and also make sure to follow all my social media so y'all keep in touch with me. So yeah, so let's get into the story. It was in the past, so really and truly, it don't matter, like, if I choose to Speak on the situation if I don't, I'm just saying like my perspective. Some might not consider it as cheating or a big deal, but you know me, I'm dramatic. So I'm gonna take it like that. I'm plus being dudes like this, so I'm gonna take it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just funny to me now. We gonna give dude a name. We gonna call him, I don't wanna give him an obvious name. See, we gonna call him Mini Frost. Me and Frost, should I just call him dude? Yeah, okay. So me and dude started dating in, I would say, 2019. It was through social media. So, you know, we was like the, the popping thing. You know, everybody wanted to be us. During this time, I never had plans on moving where I am now. Never even had the thought in mind to move over here. I know I'd have been like coming over here for vacations, but never had the thought in mind to move. So, mind you, this was never a topic for us. You know what I'm saying? Me moving, it still wasn't a topic after how long we still, we was dating. Until I actually came, it became a topic. I would really say, dude was real like insecure. Simple stuff, dude would trip over. No, it was just weird. But I really never used to like really take it as a big red flag. You know what I mean? I said what I'm saying. We're not a relationship. Okay, but let me let me throw in this that because you ain't gonna just play with me like I'm stupid. I talk to you about it and we handling it and I'd be fine. That's how I am. We was good the whole relationship. Um, never really was talking to other people. Well, me personally, I was talking to other people because I might have like still keep in touch with a couple of people, but it wouldn't be like a every day. It'd be like a monthly, two monthly type of thing. Like, being in a relationship, the middle, all it was good until like months before we broke up. It was like real weird. I had went through dude from the wrong side. I think I was just watching like statuses on dude WhatsApp. And I had seen this girl, so I had ended up like going on chats. Why? Don't know. And I had seen Missy name, right? And I was like, so who's this? And he was like, oh, that's just a friend. And I was like, okay. So we gonna leave it as a friend, but if something else come up, then just know it's up. You know what I'm saying? We had an argument. I think I had brought it up again. I was like, oh, you tripping about me having friends, but you have Missy, who I don't even know about. And he was like, oh, Missy. Me and her cool, she know you. She know me. No, she don't. I when we argue, I just ask her what to say or what to do. And I was just looking at dude like what? He was like, oh, and I asked her like what I should get you for your birthday and like what I should tell you in an argument and what I he should buy. Me. Hold on, I don't even know Missy. So how you have Missy telling you what to get your girlfriend? Like I don't have two other sisters you could ask. And you know my two other sisters. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, hold on, Missy, Missy a little too high position in this relationship. So I was like, first of all, I was like, you sound stupid. Why are you asking a girl who I don't know? You claim she know me, but I don't know how you asking her what to get me for my birthday. You sound stupid. One. Two, why are you asking the other girl what to say in a conversation with me? Motherfucker argument. Because I'm a girl. If I talk as a nigga, and he asked me how to deal with his girlfriend that just teaching me how he, i could deal with him you know what i'm saying you get it you get it if you don't you don't i can't explain but that's just how i feel at that time say like i do something bad she might speak to him and tell him like it shouldn't go like this because i feel like you know what i'm saying like, i feel like she could pers pers persuade him to feel like she good for him i don't care what type of level you're on because first of all why you have a girl Tell you what to do for your girlfriend and me and this girl have no way form of communication I don't know her literally she still don't know up to this day so we, we had let that pass it was like a little thing that didn't like not trust him in this process she like she ain't going nowhere because obviously you talking to her about what to say to me so Missy like she here forever and I about to go you know what I'm saying this was during quarantine this happened so during quarantine we like barely see each other let's just jump to the pie where I caught dude 
you know, link it with a girl. They didn't link, but they were going to. They were supposed to, but I guess dude came to see me instead of homegirl. Homegirl ain't even messy. That's a whole different girl. Yeah, so the night before I was leaving, dude came to see me. When I say come to see me, like, it wasn't no, like, no, yeah, it wasn't no link. It was just a chilling, like, we sitting in front of him watching TV. Really, the only thing I was really sad was happy because I was about to go see my sister who I hadn't seen in like three years. So, I really think I wasn't sad. We was like watching TV and dude, ha dude eventually went on his phone. Like I tell y'all, we always just like watch each other's stories like on WhatsApp. Like I'd be sitting on, he'd probably be on like his phone watching stories and I'd watch it with him too. Like this message came through. This nigga must break his finger like sliding the message up. Mind you, I still sit on the side of him like literally in the phone basically. And dude tried to slide the message up like what, so I wouldn't see. When it comes to playing dumb, nobody could outbeat me. But sweetie, I ain't dumb. That's the thing. I feel like I was watching the TV. Like, it, it's so funny because like, I was watching it started by play. I was watching the TV when he slided the message. Right? I saw niggas like so obvious and so dumb because, like, after that message came through, dude just like, he cut this phone off so fast and then he had to like, acting so jiggery, like so nervous. He started panicking, but he wasn't like, he was just like, you know, like, what what is like asking questions like random questions like okay like don't play with me now because you know i ain't dumb but i can play dumb if that's what we doing right so okay so dude had like put his phone down on the other i was like let me see phone and i was like i went on the whatsapp yep yeah, and i was like so what what this about so he just sitting there like this like surprise i saw the message you know what i'm saying but i was playing dumb i saw the message so he just sitting there shocked so i'm like yeah what is that this girl right the girl who texted him we're gonna call her link because they were supposed to link link he didn't know that i know this but link was his ex-girlfriend in junior school i think someone had told me before or they had made a joke or something about him and link and i thought it was like you know just a joke i didn't know it was true so i'm just sitting there laughing because like <laughs> you really trying to i like you really trying to play with me right now like come on now that's come on come on so he was like Oh, that's just a friend. I say, you write a lie to the truth. So he say, that's just a friend. I say, trust me, you lying ain't gonna help you no way. So you must just tell the truth. So he's sticking to this story that Link is just a friend. I just spill it. I was like, you know I know y'all two used to date, right? So he's like, oh, we never used to date. I said, trust me, I know. Everybody told me I did my research, so there's no reason for you to lie. I said, I know y'all two used to date. So the message was like, it was like, it either had said, you forgot we supposed to link, or uh, it was like, you playing about our link eight. It was one of them, I can't remember. Like I said, this, this was four years ago, so I honestly ain't gonna remember exactly the words. I was like, and to top it off, why you linking with your ex? Secondly, why you linking when I bought the code? So he was like, oh, she was just playing around. Nine night, your ex playing around on your phone telling you that sh you forgot about, about y'all two supposed to link. Come on now. Let's let's be real. Let's let's be real. I just sitting looking at dude just laughing because it's like you really trying to play with me. Like I'm sitting in your face, caught you red handed. I already know everything, so it's literally no reason for you to lie. You still gonna lie. I forgot a part. Let's rewind back to us sitting on the couch watching the WhatsApp story. The message came up. So while I was playing, like I was watching the TV, and dude panicking, he achieved the chat. Boom. That's what happened. So he achieved a charm, achieved whatever y'all call it. He achieved tried to chat on whatsapp so after he did that he rest his phone down i pick it up and i was like why are you still watching whatsapp stories i went back on the whatsapp and you know i click on the story to make it look like i was about to watch a story so i was like went back on the chat scroll down click on the achieve i was like so with this about so then he proceeds to say oh that's just a friend so back to what we was so i'm like okay so I proceed to sign up. Cause me, like I just wanna hit people so hard. Like I just wanna knock them out so hard. But I scared to hit people because I don't I feel like once I start hitting you, it ain't gonna stop. Like I feel like I take my anger out. So he came like trying to hug me and stuff, and I'm like, no, get off me. My you know, I trying to be too loud because people home like I don't wanna make a scene, you know what I'm saying? Like you literally lying in my face and I just caught you red handed. The night before I'm about to leave. Like, well damn, you ain't even wait till like gone away, like yeah, because it's basically almost time for him to go when it happened. After I seen it, I just was like, I tell him to leave, like, 
just like that. I was just like, you, you, okay, come on my house. Because like, you trying to play with me. And he was like, okay, so you really about to end and out of this. I'm like, yeah, nigga, you, you, are you dumb? What you mean? You answer your own question. That's what we about to do. He left or whatever. I don't know. It's so weird to me that I went in the room and I was happy. Like, we didn't even make up after or nothing. I feel like we just let it pass. But me, I going to act like stuff cool. But eventually, like, it's going to be so much adding up. I just going to be like... No. When I had came over here, dude just started on his word, and he just was on his weirdness. Like I know it was about to happen because he spoke about it like before I left. So it was just on his weirdness. But mind you, in my mind already, I was already done with the relationship, low key. But I was still in a relationship, and dude just started to do stuff. It was just like, it was just like, uh, yeah, no. And I didn't regret it because like I said, I was away, so it was really no like loss me and dude never really did nothing for me to regret you know what i'm saying so it was like uh just a uh, okay this story was like four or three years ago so um really ain't trying to bash nobody or give nobody fame i just want to do a story time that i find was very funny and interesting that's the end of the story um that's how i caught my boyfriend cheating I was before I was leaving to go into another country. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if y'all find the story interesting. Because if y'all really like like it, I might do like more story time. Because I do have interesting stuff that happens in my life. Matter of fact, if you made it this far, comment down below 100. The 100 emoji, comment it down below so I can know y'all made it this far. And that would also tell me that y'all enjoyed the video. Turn on your post notification bell so you can know every time I post a video. Yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. We on the road to 4K, so make sure you tell your mommy, your daddy, your uncle, your brother, your sister, your grandma. Everybody subscribe to the channel, because we almost a 4K. Like, y'all get your girl to 4K before at least August, the middle of August. Like, this, just try to get to 4K, because we really ain't that far. Yeah, that's all. So, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all really want more, just let me know, please. I do not mind spilling the tea, giving the girls tea. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind. Y'all know we say, y'all know we do. We can link in the blink. Gang. Bye, y'all. I know it's going to be fun.